I haven't. We're not hit. We shouldn't be hit yet. Yes, it is going live. That's good. Oh, stupid trailer. Go away. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. But they won't be out here, is it? Oh, they can hear us now. I have muted them thingy. Oh, they can hear me, can't they? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, yeah. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the stream. Look at the pictures. GGT. I am a landscaper, the lead landscaper on Cyrodiil, but I also put my hand in and help out around Ross Greer as well. With me today we have Claire, who many of you know from Cyrodiil. She is one of the leads on Ross Greer. We have, hey. yep, we have Dak, who is our 3D arts lead um, on Ross Greer. We have Noto, who is the implemental world. person. Uh, and yes. we have Linton here who will be searching through all your questions and asking the group. GGT, apparently stream chat didn't hear any of that because the music's too loud and your mic's quiet. I... <laughs> Things go right. Right, I'm getting rid of the music. Hello everyone, can you hear me? I have tried messing around with my settings to make things easier, but whatever. So, um, yeah, apologies for that again. Uh, are people saying the music's gone? Right, okay. Hi, so in case you missed our intro, we have yeah. Claire, Dak, Hi. JGT, me, and Linton. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, so, uh, we are for, uh, Linton's here to just sift through your questions and very, and, like, moderate this, and the rest of us are here, we're just four people who worked on Roskia a lot in the past, like, month. Ross Creed dev team is like Sarah Dill's team. Yeah, so, um, what kind of happened with Ross Creed while we're waiting to load in is it was, a uh, it joined Beyond Skyrim, um, I think it was summer 2013. And it was originally quite a small team that was led by a modder called Nago. Um, and they created sort of all the original landscape and paths of the island and did quite a lot of work on establishing the law for Ross Creed. But unfortunately, this project became inactive about a year later. So from about 2014 to 2016, um, it was just completely inactive. So back in 2016, a team of us, so it uh, was me, because um, I originally joined Roscoe before I worked on Cyrodiil. Um, and then our lead writer, Nick, Janet, who may or may not be joining us in chat later, and a couple of other people decided to restart it. And again, we we're still a really, really small team, but from there we kind of borrowed people from other teams. So you'll recognise, like, um, Mr. JGT, who's done quite a lot of landscaping from us. Noto, who's worked on pretty much every project. And um, it's just steadily grown from there. But there are quite a few people like Dak who um, just work on Buzz Crew. So there are some new people as well. Uh, apparently the music is, uh, uh, like, the actual music, not in-game music is what Chad's saying. I keep muting it and it keeps coming back, don't blame me. <laughs> uh... Okay, 
Anyway, the point of the live stream today, hopefully some of us will be able to hear you, um, is that we are going to uh, catch the boat to Roscrea and then have a bit of a wander around so that you can see some of the landscaping we've done, hopefully play a few quests and then give you a chance to understand a bit more about the island itself and then um, hopefully we'll be able to answer some of your questions as well. This looks like solitude. It is, so um, if you want to go to Roscree, you need to go to Solitude Docks and buy a ticket. Which is where I am now, but you'll see in a minute. Yeah, I'm not sure. JGT is kind of lagging a bit weirdly. Uh, it's not you guys' Wi-Fi, it's... It might be my but... internet for some strange reason. My family are watching Netflix downstairs, which might be a thing. Uh, us. Jaco Perino. Windhelm and Dawnstar, like, Rosker is basically directly north of Solitude. So, it, you go to Solitude to do it. Well, I don't think that it's anywhere on the maps, so though. We have had some discussions about whereabouts in the Sea of Ghosts it is. And, um, we're being a bit hazy on that one. Oh, my monkey's here. So, my monkey has also worked on the project for quite a few years now so he's done loads of um, level design and also quite a few of the 3d art that you'll um, objects that you'll see today yeah like lore wise we only really have one source for where Roscrea is when talking about uh, Uriel the fifth um, and where in Roscrea exactly like where is Roscrea which with the closest we know is that it's somewhere north of solitude in the sea of ghosts like so that's why we chose to. It was do... invaded when he decided to invade Akavir, so it must be somewhere on the route to Akavir in a weird way, but where exactly we have no idea. JGT, turn down your bitrate. It will make it better. Like, go to your OBS bitrate. But, yeah. Also should be noted, everything in the stream, it's early development. There might be broken stuff. Um, there might, there might be no bad lip syncing or no lines of dialogue in certain areas. But yeah, everything here is subject to change. It's just, this is meant to show you what it is. Yeah, it's mostly because we've got to the point now where, um, We've got enough of the island under development that there's actually something that's worth showing off so we can actually do the sort of introduction quest and walk you around the island. Zero did on. We don't really know much about Raskria at all besides the very, very basics. Um, a lot of this, like uh, Claire said, is established as lore by the earlier Raskrian team before a bunch of like us picked up on it. So yeah, there isn't really much known about Roskrea besides the very basics of how Uriel V uh, conquered it on his way to Akavir, as well as it has a bit of ties to Admaran culture, but that's really all we know. So most of it is expanded on us by us. No, it's quite cool because, um, well, it's damn bad to say that I think there were about two lines of official lore on Roskrea and that was that it was invaded. Um, and that's about it. And so it's given the team a really blank canvas to work from, but it, which is good because we can do whatever we want with it. But it's also quite, um, it does make it quite challenging because it, it, it's a blank canvas so we can do whatever we want with it. So I think the law that the original team came up with is actually really nice though. It's tied into some of the things that you'll see in the ancient Nordic dungeons. And we've also tried to tie it in with the Moran lore as well. So hopefully it'll be, even though we're basing, well, we've made a lot of this up and it doesn't have a basis in official lore, hopefully it should all tie in nicely and feel smooth between um, moving from Atmora to Roscrea to Skyrim. That's the intent anyway. Yes, there is new armor and weapons. Really? That's incredible. I, I have so many questions. JGT, apparently we're not getting game volume. Uh, 
Like they're not receiving it at all. Not getting. Um, it's showing up as it should be. For me. Or like it's really quiet, quiet apparently. I did turn it up, but it, her. She's quite quiet. Yeah, see, so, um, the character that's talking now, Gwen, she is voiced by the um, voice actor who did the trailer for Bros Korea that we released a couple of months ago. So the original footage of that, you see the camera panning around Gwen, and she's one of the sort of more main characters that you'll get to know um, on your exploration of Bros Korea. How big is Roskrio? Um, in comparison to Solstheim, I believe it's approximately double. I think. Don't act like I haven't played Dragonborn DLC in a very long time, but. So Nick, he's in um, text chat and answering the questions is our lead writer. Fortunately, he couldn't be on voice chat today because he's travelling. But yeah, he he be great for answering any law questions you might have. Yeah, Nick. Uh, yeah. As well as Mind Monkey is also here um, in text chat answering questions. So yeah, this is. On your journey to Roskrea in the Sea of Ghosts. Um, At least one person likes the opening quest anyway. There we go. Managed to find some custom gear. Knew we had some lying around. Yeah, some of it's placeholder as well, so um, the people that are attacking, well, I guess they're pirates, but. Uh, we call them Corsairs, so they're um, all native Roscrians and they have quite a lot to do with the island, so they cause a lot of problems for the Imperial convoys going to him from the islands. But they're all going to have unique armour and weapons, um, but some of it is just mashup armour at the moment that's a legacy from the original project. But there's a, a whole new lot of um, armour that's currently in progress. So hopefully we should have that in, in the next couple of months. Oh, the new shield is really cool. Um, that was made by Saran. So he was um, he used to work heavily on Iliac Bay. So he's one of the people that we managed to beg to do a bit of work for us in in the early days when we revived the project. Yes, you will see the East Empire Company. And, yeah, native Roscrians are tall, so a lot of native Roscrians you'll see are, like, a lot larger than player. They have a common ancestor between lords and giants. We couldn't make them too much taller. Um, because Scar mentioned. Uh, I think the Roscrians are 1.1 times the normal um, player height. We couldn't go much bigger, otherwise we break the animations. They still do slightly break the animations, but it's not noticeable. So, we've now arrived in the capital city, which, well, the imperial capital city, which is Craneshaw. And we'll get to know a bit more about that in a minute. What is the meaning of this? Another of my ships has been attacked by Corsairs! 
Is it not the duty of the Imperial government to ensure the safety yes, of this, my Yes, uh, for those this is recording, this will be uploaded on YouTube. You find that it is not, Lady Aldario. The protection of chartered ships is the responsibility of the East Empire Company, and not the garrison of this city. Besides, you will find that the Northern Stallion has returned to port in one piece, and with all its cargo intact, yeah, we don't have a huge amount of voice acting in at the moment. So one of the lessons we learned from Bremer is that um, it's probably easier to get pretty much everything in game in terms of quest than just do loads of text exports and do one massive recording session over a sort of three or four months just to make sure that everything's consistent and recorded on the same sort of audio rig. So we do have a little bit of voice in game now just to sort of tease what it's going to be like. And we've started casting the main characters, but the bulk of um, the voice acting won't be done until we're pretty much ready to go. And Lucrece, you will refer to me as Sir, as befitting my status as Count. I will have faith in the Empire when it can protect my ships. Get it to daytime. So we have some people walking around. <clears throat> Throw on the rust. Will there be custom map markers? Probably. So, um, once you punk has, he works on Cyrodiil's work, to how to get them in game. But we, um, we just haven't got around to implementing anything. Yeah, and we do want it to be as professional as possible. So this is all quite early in implementation. So our plan is to implement as much as we possibly can do, and then have a really big beta test session and just make sure that it's as polished as Bremer before we release it. So um, if you saw any playthroughs of Bremer when it was at a similar stage, then the quests were a lot less polished than they were by the time we released it. So this is all really, really sort of early implementation and, and it'll be a little bit buggy. And there might be some typos and things in there as well. But they yeah. will all be fixed. It looks so great, probably because it's early in the morning. It gets better. I have no clue where Sh Rochelle's dog went, though. Like, oh, do you mean in terms of the creativity and the content in it? So all of Beyond Skyrim should feel quite similar. So the whole mission statement and the whole. Sort of idea behind Beyond Skyrim is that we're trying to create DLC or what feels like official DLC so it should feel hopefully like Bethesda made this so um, when you're in Skyrim and you travel to another province everything should I mean obviously you'll be in a different province but everything should feel very similar so we try Need something? and use the same kind of style of writing and the same sort of um, feel for the art direction and things so it should all feel like seamless DLC for any province not just Roscrea or um, Cyrodiil so right now JGT is doing a fetch quest that um, uh, yeah Doing a basic fetch quest just between various characters, between the blacksmith and alchemist. So the blacksmith's a bit at the moment, that definitely needs a second pass to... Once we've got more um, unique weapons and things in game as well, well, there'll be a lot more going on in there. Uh, Slimer, the 
all Beyond Skyrim teams share a lot of assets, but in terms of more snow, Atmore is like basically entirely snow. Will there any be any new followers? Yes, quite a few. You're gonna so see one follower on this playthrough. Nick will correct me if I'm wrong, but I think for Craneshaw there are three. So there is the guy that you're just about to meet. He's quite cute. Um, and then there's someone that you can um, befriend. Um, He's looking for a bit of adventure. He can also become your follower. And then um, Gwyn, who you met on the boat at the end yeah. of her quest line, I think there's the option to have her as a follower as well, or at least that's planned. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about dialogue going away too fast. Um, it's Mr. J GT's just got um, the subtitles on and Fuzz Radio and it isn't, um, there's nothing you can do to change how fast that goes. Yeah, so he didn't mean cute as in good looking, I meant cute as he's quite, he's quite small and cute. As in like he's a, basically a four foot tall elf with a giant claymore. Although when he was originally implemented, he wasn't quite set up right, so when I was testing it, I went in there and he just killed everyone. So it was a bit of a psycho. Yeah. My stream saw me just puzzle and, like, stress out over trying to fix that because it was like, why? And then I realized I was smart and set his aggression to, like, frenzy. Are there any player homes we can get to live in Roscreat? Yes, so... The town we're in at the moment is the one imperial settlement on the island and there's one player home in Craneshaw and then we're also planning to have a home that you can buy off the royal screens but that will be set more in the wilderness. The loud music is back again JGT. And uh, you hear us still? No idea why it's started to play the dragon attack music. Oh, no, um, most of the NPCs aren't voiced yet, so this is still really early in development. Um, but yeah, to answer some questions. Uh, followers, just based on how follower AI works, yes, followers can follow you into other provinces, that's just native how Skyrim works in general. And the Roscreans are closely related to the Nords, but are, they basically share, yeah, a common ancestor. They're closely related, like, cousin species of Nords, they're taller, and the other developments we'll get more in-depth in. I don't know if Nick wants to go over any of the lore in a bit more detail, so um, the idea is that the Roscreans still worship animal cults. Um, so the, the sort of, when you're in the Nordic ruins of Skyrim and there's all the cult symbols on the wall, the original team took that idea and ran with it. And so um, the idea is that um, the animal cults that you see on Skyrim, they turned into the sort of modern day gods like Kenareth, whereas on Roscrea 
Um, we've gone for a very the same but different field. So they actually still worship the animal cults that came over with the sort of uh, Moran settlers. So um, the the, sort of the whole religion system, it's still the same gods, but it's a bit different because they, they worship them as animals. But not all of the animal cults are still active on Roscrea. And that's part of the main quests that um, your D will sort of uncover a bit more of the history of the island and what happened to them. Uh, okay, for, yeah, like Nick said, dragons left Roscrea long ago. Can you become the emperor? I think that's sarcastic, but no, because there is no Emperor of Roscoe. There is a Count who you saw rowing with the um, Factor when the ship landed. So he's the, the sort of the Emperor's vassal on um, on Roscrea. Indiefan 1998. Uh, for followers, we're for the most part planning a very um, in-depth like characters in terms of companions at least Faldron, for example actually has background lore and in depth and he may or may not have a quest not sure about that yet and what is it yeah so will the Ross Green race be playable probably not no i mean it with is a new race in the creation kit and if anyone wanted to um, set that up then as a third party mod then that would be fine but we're not actually going to um, set it up as a playable race and game ourselves uh, wall 089 there is actually a quest involving the Thalmor on our square. Uh I won't say anything further because that quest is still within writing as well as just like no, we're not doing it, so I'd rather it not be spoiled. But yeah, there is a quest involving Elmore and Rostria. So then, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about the sort of the geography of Roscrea. Um Mr. JGT can do it if you want. If everyone can hear me properly. Um... So the basic geography of Roscrea is it has volcanic origins. So we've used a lot of the basalt stuff from um, the Dragonborn DLC. Uh, but yeah, so the Roscrea, the great freeze that froze at Mora, has started to spread south to Roscrea, which is something you'll see when we show off that part of the island that it's, you know, one half is quite cold and then the other half, partially due to a large mountain range going across the middle of the island, keeps the southern side quite warm and temperate like you can see here, basically. Um, and yeah, so it's split very much into an imperial section who have most of kind of the warm area on one side of the island. Because, shall I show them the map? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's have a look at the old map. So this is Roscrea here, once everyone else can see it. It's still a work in progress, but you can see the northern side is very cold compared to the south. can also see the claim lines for the unfinished bits. Well, there is that as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll quickly go for a wander. Here's a Ross Green dude, actually. Uh, Claire, correct me if I'm wrong, but basic casting for voice actors has been happening so far, right? A little bit. So we've recruited about three or four voice actors, but the plan is to hold off on doing the majority of it until we've got um, pretty much everything in game and ready to go. And then uh, do a massive casting and recording session then. So I uh, don't like to pit dates, but I 
next year, probably. So I'm just heading down now to one of the more volcanic sections to show you kind of how the island is kind of there is evidence of still active volcanism. And then I've got some custom vent. Yeah. Which are quite cool. Yeah. Let's, uh, there's some there. You can see them just kind of those pipes sticking up. I'll get closer to one. Going to show them the beach as well. Yeah, let's go down to the beach. I love the beaches though. Um, so for this, for our sort of visual inspiration, it's based quite heavily on Iceland, and then there's a bit of a Viking theme going on as well, which you might have um, got from some of the weapons already. And uh, hopefully you'll pick it up a bit more when we go and visit one of the native Roscrean villages towards the end of the playthrough. You're going to go and investigate the abandoned fort before we do the quest. Yeah. Let's um, that's a that's a question I can't answer as I said. Uh, the memory limit for building a landmass outside the main one. So Skyrim's engine, for the most part, calculates things within world spaces, and world spaces are just basically the area you're within, and you have to transition between them. Um, Roskia as a world space, like has been said, is about the size of Soul Slime, and Otherwise, Skyrim's main limitation is how it streams memory. For the most part, it streams memory in a weird 16-bit fashion. That um, SKSE memory patch, that's one of the main things it fixes, um, is it significantly improves the memory streaming, and Special Edition Skyrim basically doubles the capacity. Or not doubles, sorry, times 2 to the, to the power of 32, the other, the memory capacity. But... Otherwise, the map can exceed um, a certain 8-bit uh, limit of cells, I believe. Yeah, 128 cells. So, yeah. So this fort was one that was built by the Empire on their way across to Akavir. Um, as you can see, it's named for Uriel after the Emperor himself. And it's from here that they probably would have staged one of their... Um, attacks across the I can't remember the name of the ocean that's but anyway across towards Akavir um, and let's go see who lives here now G slump. This is just kind of a dungeon that's from what I know going to be used for a future quest. Uh, uh Indie fan, to answer your question kind of indirectly because uh, that so far is kind of undecided, but. Um, there are custom spells obviously going to happen in Roskia, and something like that was suggested. I, that was about the love destruction spells, not the snow elves.
what are all the cults like? Uh, they're relatively similar to, well, they share a co- lot of common law with the Atmorans because uh, Nick could probably explain this better than me. But the cults basically worship animal totems. Um, Dragon Gamer, from what this should work on Legendary Edition. Um, so, yeah, this should be working on Legendary Edition. It is a bit unreliable, especially with the fairy system, which you use to travel between towns quickly. Uh, it was kind of fun to code, but. But yeah, so for the most Beyond Skyrim projects will only be available on special edition due to VR is special edition, but um, most projects are only going to be Beyond Skyrim projects are only available on special edition due to the memory um, limitations of legendary edition. Like I talked about that 16 bit memory streaming, which is really annoying. Um, And so other than that, the roster probably will work on the legendary edition although considering yeah it's just gonna be painful without uh without memory edition due to just issues at the moment so, this is just a standard dungeon but it will be tied to a, a quest when that's finally edited and implemented Yes, you can join Sasha at the East Empire Company. Uh, will mods fix what? Also, can you join one of the cults? Uh, you can for sure aid a couple of them. Like, there are definitely friendly cults on the island. I'm not entirely sure about joining them. But you can definitely aid them. Nick is pr- better qualified to answer that question, though. Can you unlock it? There should be a key on the head necromancer. Uh, will mods fix the problem with Legendary Special Edition? No, besides specific stuff like, um, um, no, not really, because the only really thing that helps is, uh, Skyrim's, uh, Script Extender Memory Edition, which goes further towards the code injection, closer than a mod, so... Yeah, like I said, not a lot of large-sized mods will run well on Legendary Edition, especially not without uh, a memory patch, just because memory streaming on Skyrim is so bad. Like, the actual engine is inherently bad, and so a standard mod won't do anything, except make it worse. Um, Yeah, so the closest thing is script extender memory patch, but even then, it's not... It's preferable to use special edition, which is why the larger Beyond Skyrim projects, say Iliac Bay or Serial, are only available for special edition. Uh, Sheer Growth Mad God. Um, we are, like, when things are further done, we are planning an open playtest. Um, Can we go to the really cool city with the giant skeleton? Coincidentally, that's where we're planning on finishing this stream. So after we've done the um, the quest and gone back to the beast, we'll catch the ferry to Venglot and um, wander around there for a little bit. That's not as far in advanced um, in terms of implementation as uh, Crane Shore is, but there's still a few NPCs wandering around and things. That will give you an idea of how the Roscrean cities differ from the Imperial one. Um, in terms of followers within, um, like that use stuff like stuff from Beyond Skyrim. In terms of 
what exactly are you? I'm not entirely sure what exactly you're asking, but um, for the most part, all of our stuff within the CK is extendable. Like, you can find the, you can find our quests, you can find our assets, you can find whatever. Um, but it would to incorporate it and have them have extra lines of dialogue. It's like obviously we don't, you don't have access to the voice actors, so like I'm not sure what you're asking, but that should answer it. Okay, so now we're playing through the cave part of this quest, um, and I don't know if it's obvious from the stream, but we've to try and make the dungeons and caves feel a bit different to Skyrim's. We've had them retextured so that they hopefully look hopefully look a bit more volcanic and more in keeping with the exterior landscape than the vanilla Skyrim one does. So I really like our dungeon set, our dungeon cave set actually, I think it's lovely. Yeah, our dungeon cave set is so good. And they were all done by um, Dark Odin, who I think mostly works on Iliac Bay. He's currently in the process of doing a Draugr dungeon retexture for us as well, which from the early work images I've seen of it looks amazing. So hopefully that will make the um, the Draugr bits look very different as well. Lazy. The Great Freeze is something that involves Atmora, not Raskria. Just thought I'd show off some of the assets that we've had. Well, these are retextures of vanilla, but they really help in selling Roscrea as a different foreign land. So we've had it so the Roscreans, they originally used bronze. They were a kind of Bronze Age society. So a lot of their weapons and items were made from bronze before they discovered mithril, which is very important to them now. And then once they discovered mithril, kind of hell broke loose and there were lots of fights and politics and all sorts of shenanigans went on. And that's the part of the lore that you'll discover when you're actually playing through the main quests. And I don't know if this was talked about, but yeah, in terms of Roscrea, a lot of the lore centers around the Imperials wanted access to Roscrea because of the Mithril Mines, like... Yeah, so Roscrea is one of the best sources of Mithril in the entirety of Nurn, basically. I think it's the only source, right? Our law says yes. So there was mithril and oblivion, but I don't think there are any mithril mines. So that's part of the reason that we have explaining why there's a imperial outpost here is um, because this is the only source the empire has of getting mithril, and they use it for their armor because it's really hard and really strong. Another may or may not be canon. The thing we really want to hope to express um, talking earlier about. Uh, the transition from bronze work to myth uh, stylistically we hope to that by going from kind of a Celtic influence to Viking influence that transition is that your mic's cutting out Doug And then these are some of the new objects as well. I think my monkey made most of these. So, um, although Skyrim does have food in it, it always annoyed me that there's loads of apples and things in Draugr dungeons that you can eat. So all the stuff in here at least should be well preserved. So there's kind of like smoked cheese and wine and things, but they're all the new Roscrean um, food stuffs that you can buy. So they do a lot of... Um, smoking and preserving in Roscrea.
Um, roster and coins, for the most part, uh, follow a similar system to Fallout New Vegas, where you're, essentially they just you get them from different factions and they're valued similarly. Like every merchant or the merchants will accept them and give you gold for them. Can we use the plates as shields? <laughs> I'm sure someone can mod that. But yeah, there are units of raw screen currency that various factions will accept and take. Should mithril plates valuable since theoretically they could be melted down? Yes, probably. So, um, a lot of stuff's implemented, but during the beta testing stage, we just need to do a massive polish and work out what the correct balance for everything actually is. So yeah, a lot of these um, levels of damage or cost and things that you're seeing at the moment will probably change before we actually release it. And yeah, they're not implemented yet. This is the ancient bronze set. So um, Filt Seekers offered to make us a custom Draugr. So they'll be Roscrean Draugr. So they'll be a little bit different from the Skyrim ones. And then when we have those, they'll be wandering around with this um, bronze sword and shield set that as well. So they should look pretty different from the uh, Skyrim ones. How are you going to choose which weapon to use? They're all lovely. Uh, Sima wrote, Roscrew does get fairly snowy, um, yeah, Ros yeah, Roscrew gets fairly snowy, it's like, but climate patterns exist. And also, um, the south of the island is very volcanically active, so it's a bit warmer than it should be. Think of it as Iceland, really. And it's not just a level design conceit, so that it was a bit more interesting than just snow. Not at all. <laughs> Will there be more adult themes in Roscrea? Um, no, so because we're aiming to be like seamless official DLC for Bethesda, it will be the same style as Bethesda. So it's very similar, it will be very similar to the Prima mod. Slime content. Slime rhythm. Mountain bigger than the one in Skyrim? No, because the Thread of the World is the largest mountain in Tamriel. So like Yeah. Plus lore, if we had a tower or a mountain bigger than the one in Skyrim, because then you could make the argument for it being a tower. And that actually wrecks like a couple of important lore pieces. <laughs> Look like you're having trouble taking that shield. Yeah. And like we said, everything here, the bugs you may encounter during this stream are subject to change, so yeah, we might make them worse. Or we might actually fix the bugs. <laughs> well, Stone of Light, this quest actually, the markers only show up when you get close to them. It uh, This quest was coded by Tommy, um, one of the other main implementer people for Roscrea. And yeah, it actually only fires the script to show the marker uh, when you get close to it. So it's actually a really nice piece of coding of this. But yeah, anything that's stuck in the floor, we're probably gonna fix. Is there 
there any chance it would be compatible with Frostfall? So it just uses vanilla weather, so I imagine it would be. Okay, so these guys are actually supposed to be ghosts. Um, but the ghost script hasn't been implemented yet, so just just presume they're not alive. Uh, yeah, so... Wait, this script was implemented, I think. It just merged and stuff, but yeah. They are supposed to look like ghosts. So how do we... I've not actually seen this quest played all the way through, so this is quite exciting. Yeah, same. And I'm just appreciating the implementation work because, yeah. Arthas, you have to remember that, like, General Tullius is centuries ahead of Gilmas. Yeah, Naito is one of our implementers. Yeah, hi. I'm the one been explaining the implementation stuff behind this. Oh no, I've hit General Decimus, he's, he's not going to be friends with me now. That's one of the big bugs that needs <laughs> fixing. What was that? Yep. We really need that because I'm so to bad at friendly load, fire. Because otherwise it's, he's just going to beat me repeatedly and I'm not going to be able to finish this. Yeah. Will there be new Dragon Priest Moss? I think there's a plan to have a couple. We have a couple of new um, claw puzzles as well that Karate made for us, but I don't think any of these are implemented yet. Yeah, so the s spelling mistakes within dialogue and specifically that bug, remember this quest is beta. Like. Okay, JGC, don't miss. Maybe let them take care of him. <laughs> oh no, I hit one of the soldiers! <laughs> he ran in front of me as I was swinging! What's the command to make like you again? Stop com start combat. Stop just let combat. them defeat Kra first. I think you can also Art set Av aggression and set Av mood to uh, solve that. Will the general have dialogue of players in the Legion? Um, you have to remember that these are different Legions, but maybe. And are there radiant quests like the Bounty ones in Vanilla Skyrim. Yes, there are, because yeah, those are fun to implement actually. So, yeah. Are there new dragon masks? Yes, Nick already confirmed that. Uh, 
Okay, managed to avoid them. Yeah, so Rosphere contains very similar religious concepts to uh, Skyrim, or, but to the Skyrim and Nordic religions, um, and that does slightly include Daedra, but yeah, they go by different names. We could always oh. go back, change hell to oblivion. That's the type of polish thing that we'll pick up in the beta. Oh, oh I so guess what now. happened to Faldron? I don't know. He left me after I left Crane Shore, I don't know why. Oh, it's not nav meshed. Uh, yeah. Only the town's nav meshed. Which is why the growl's not coming at you either. Yeah, I know. He he can go over there, but that's as far as it can go. Yeah, here's a bit of unfinished work. Yeah. Oh, is that the moth cult shrine? Yeah. Uh, someone's asked, uh, we haven't had many people asking actually. But someone's done the obligatory when's it going to be released so unfortunately it's more of a done when it's done sort of thing so obviously you can see we've got a lot of the island landscaped but not all of it and we're starting on quest implementation so we are making really good progress but at the same time it's really hard to predict how long everything will take because it just depends on if key people leave um progress will be really slow or if we get more people we might be able to do it a lot faster so it we learned this from Bremer, it's just because it's a amateur mod, um, we don't have set hours, we just donate the time that we can to it. It's just, it's too hard to predict how long it's going to take, but we are getting there. We're relatively well developed now. Also, people, uh, specifically, implementation is starting to pick up a lot. So as, yeah, right now we only have really me and Tommy implementing, so... Any other implementers, even if you want to learn, would be really nice. Yeah, and to that note, we're always looking for more 2D and 3D artists, artists as well. Um, you know, the more people we have, the, uh, the faster we can get a release. Nav meshes, nav meshes, amazing. And uh, on that note, I actually have to leave. Um, yeah, this has been really exciting to see this go through the whole quest and everything. So uh, thanks, everybody, for being part of the stream. Bye, Doc. Bye. Bye. He left just at the point when I'm showing off his wonderful spaffer.
That is pretty amazing. It has a really nice magic effect on it as well, from what I remember. If you're fighting with well, followers or allies. Skills of allies close to the world. Mm. So if you like your followers, it's a good one for that. But I hate followers because they're really annoying. And you kill them. Well, they want um, to someone's, me. someone's asked if we can show you the map. The what? The map again. The map again, yep, sure. You're like a minute or two behind me, so... Um, you could quickly pop into the hook and bait, I guess, and then... We'll go and visit Venglot, finish the stream. Yeah. I've opened up the map. Vengel. Yeah, there you go, we've got the map there. Yeah, so you can see the bit in the lower left of the map isn't finished with landscaping yet, so... I guess we're definitely over halfway there, but there's still... There's still a lot of work to do. Actually, in the hook and bait, it's got a picture of the old, original Ruskrier map that shows just how much things have changed. Yeah, so we have, we've done a Bremer and we've got two taverns in um, Craneshaw, so there's the hook and bait, which is this one, which is located by the docks, and it, it's a bit sketchy, so it's where all the um, sailors stay while they're waiting for their ships to set sail again. Um, you may or may not find a fence here, and generally it's just, it's the the cheaper tavern of the two. And then we also have, um, it's the Thirsty Muskrat, say. isn't it? Yes. So, in our law, um, muskrats Hi. are the the sort of the Roscrean name for skeevers. Um, and for some reason that's the name of the um, more respectable tavern in town. So that's where you'll sort of find the count and all the um, fellow travellers on the boat hanging out in the evenings. Yeah, Faldron is like, honestly, uh, the character that I was actually really happy got added in because it's... Turbo, get up! <laughs> okay, waiting for stuff. Go, Turbo! Sorry well, about that. But, um, yeah, Faldra is the character that I was gonna get removed, and then those people on my stream would know I was like, hey, this would make a really funny follower. Like, this four foot elf with, like, the largest claymore. Um, and so, yeah. Um, someone's asking how we will travel from Skyrim to Roscrea. So, if you rewatch the start of the stream, um, there's actually an opening quest where if you go to Solitude Docks and just ask around, someone will tell, sell you a ticket and then you can catch a boat to Roscrea. And then um, from there on in, you'll just be able to sail backwards and forwards as you want. Although that part's not implemented yet. Uh, go in the tavern, eh? Yeah. But yeah, uh, Faldron is just definitely the... Oh, just... Can you travel from Morrowind or Mora to Roscrea? Potentially, yes. So the plan is um, once we've released multiple mods, there'll be a, a bigger, hopefully, consistency patch. So um from the ma the plan is although it's not been implemented yet but yeah the plan is that from the more sort of major ports in the different provinces so i don't know maybe like anvil and cyrodiil and those kind of things you'll be able to catch a boat from one beyond skyrim location to another saying? beyond skyrim location as or that's the aspiration of... anyway at Mora, though like specifically as a member of at Mora, that... i'm not sure it won't work for Atmora to Roscrea because of how the Atmoran storyline plays out, at least not until you're done the main quest. So yeah, this is the 
lovely village of Venglot, which is located to, I think, the northeast of the island. It's actually on a separate island to Roscrea called Halvcrea, I think. If Nick's still around, he can correct me. Um, and then, so it's mostly a fishing village. And there are a couple of docks, so... Um, and we actually have some custom fisherman robes which look amazing, but they're not implemented yet. I think the... Um, I'm not sure if it was, it should have been. If not, we'll post it on Facebook. There's an image of them um, in their work in progress date and they just look brilliant. So um, hopefully they'll be implemented in the next couple of weeks as well. So here you can see a bit more of the native Roscrean furniture. So we're hopefully going to have custom furniture, um, a lot more custom furniture. We've only got about half of it in at the moment. But yeah, it, it should feel very different to Skyrim when you visit the Roscrean villages. And a bit more yeah, primitive. To expand, to expand on what I was saying earlier, Faldron as a follower is just like my baby in terms of the concept because he was going to get deleted. And so it's actually kind of beautiful how fast we can like change certain concepts when we realize, hey, we have good ideas. And, and someone to implement. Yeah. But like, and then the fairy system. That fairy system is also my baby. And is actually kind of a beautiful piece of scripting. Yeah, so there won't be any carts on Roscrea because it's a bit too small. I guess maybe we could set one up to one of the towns inland, but um, most of the travel is by ferry. And you can get from Craneshaw to the main, um, all the main Roscrean settlements that are on the coast. Which, yeah, that was slightly annoying to implement, or not, it was slightly hard. I shouldn't say annoying because it was really fun. Really, really fun. Oh, I'm glad you like the interior design. So I've done some of it and then Mind Monkeys come along and um, redone most of the Venglot interiors. So they just look so warm and cosy. The huts are actually, um, the interiors were originally made by Marcus Liberty. Um, I think the exterior long huts, I'm not sure if there are any long huts in Venglot, but um, he made the exteriors of those as well. And then my monkeys remade the exteriors of the round huts and just added so many more variants. He's the British woman. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm uh, Claire, I'm the lead of uh, Roscrea, and I've also been in the Cyrodiil live playthroughs as well, if you've seen those before. Yeah, for anyone just joining, the person playing through and yeah. landscaper, it's not talking much as JGT. No, I'm Noto, I'm an implementer person. And yeah, Claire. And we did have Backseat Dak with us, he was our, who is our 3D lead, but he's had to leave. And then there's a couple of the team, like Nick, are um, in answering on the text chat as well. So Nick's our lead writer. I used to be an adventurer like you. S he can, L he cannot, J2 is uh, easy to. Yeah. Actually, we don't know for sure that it can, but we're assuming it. Well, we won't know until we've released them all and some brave soul tries it. Given. Okay. Given my best estimates of how Skyrim's memory model works. Roscrea should be able to run on Legendary Edition. Not, um... Yeah, Roscrea should be able to run on Legendary Edition, but basically no other Beyond Skyrim projects will be able to run on Legendary Edition, just because it is such a bad memory model that, like, even without the, without the memory patch, even le uh, Legendary Edition Roscrea is very bad, unstable, and that will break when fast travel sometimes. So. Is there anything else you want to show off, guys, or...? That skeleton town thing, that giant skeleton that we were talking about. Oh, Indie fan. yeah. So. We could go up to the... yeah, go to the skeleton, because that's that way, and then we could go up to the little watchtower. What's the best um, to get there? Uh, through... Without going through all the area that we've not worked on. 
Oh no, not that. The, there's oh, a little right. watchtower just to the east of Venglot. Is this the main native village? No, it's not. It's one of the smaller ones. Actually, you could go down to the docks because I don't think you've been there as well. So we could go to the docks and then the watchtower and then maybe close at the watchtower. So I think the docks are down on your right now, aren't they? Um, on my way to the yeah. watchtower now. I'll just quickly go. Okay. I think I might have gone past wherever this skeleton is. Can you get a good view from there or not? No, maybe not. Will there be any new alchemy ingredients? Yes, a few. Probably not as many as Cyrodiil. And it hasn't really come up because we don't have much of it around, but um, there's a lot of... Um, so whaling's quite important on Roscrea, so that's what the giant bones you see out there are all whale carcasses. So they'll be sort of whale fat and you can... Um, I think you can render whale blubber into whale fat and that kind of thing. So whaling's quite important for the Roscreans. It's where they get all the oil from their lamps for. Um, and then apart from that, they're quite um, a sort of hunting and preserving and fishing kind of... Um, culture. There is some agriculture, but it's mostly um, it's a bit more hunter gatherer than you get in Skyrim. Yeah. To further expand on animations, any mod you see with custom animations, so to speak, are really just resized versions of Skyrim's base ones. Because yeah, Skyrim's engine is just really not extendable in that specific case. Will we see actual whales? Okay. Maybe. We've got a whale model, but no one who knows how to rig it. We've had the whale model since the old version of the project. But yeah, hopefully we'll get someone to rig it for us so we can have them out far to see. Uh, the ingredients aren't are kind of implemented so far. Um, yes, there are going to be player homes on the island, for sure there's one in Cranshaw, not sure about others. Yep, there are two player homes, so one in Cranshaw, and then the other one we're planning to do, it won't be a properly Hearthfire style one because that's a massive pain in the neck to do, but um, we're planning on having a sort of isolated farmstead that you can purchase that'll be one of the native round huts and then you can do it up a bit so there'll be a few outbuildings and things, but that's not even, we've not even put that in game yet. But that's but, yeah, in terms of uh, Hearthfire, uh, or in terms of Hearthfire style homes, Unless I decide I don't like myself, we're probably not going to have them. We might <laughs> actually... just horrendous. No, like, I might choose to do it. Like, it really depends on the engine limitations. Because, yeah, Skyrim's en engine is so locked into a very I think I might bad put more water system. Water. Like, Skyrim's engine is just in terms of not only its memory streaming, but how you extend certain animations. Yeah, yeah. It's I'll very hard to do um, with what they give you. It's the whole reason the script extender exists. Um, but, yeah. Where are you taking us there? Heading back to Vengot, back to the... Uh docks to finish there after going looking at the whale carcass will there be any performance issues in old room it'll be the same as Bruma, so you'll almost certainly have to run with the memory patch it will be slightly it worse it will be slightly worse than Bruma because like Bruma at the very least didn't like with the only issue was actually just basically Bruma gates and going inside uh, and going inside the city, but otherwise, implementing wise, this, due to just how the ferry system works, that's the main issue is that Skyrim just can't stream memory fast enough without running on a memory patch.
so it has like one in 20 times it will crash if you aren't using memory patch when you use the fairy at least that's when you so yeah memory patch fixes that but old room has issues just straight up yes there will be prop <laughs> uh, jack of carino so i'm not sure if there'll be new songs we haven't planned anything yet but um because the Rosecreens are a bit more primitive than the culture in Skyrim, it's a really oral tradition. So our plan is to have people in the taverns who are a bit like um, bards, even if we don't have new songs, but tell you stories about the culture. And I guess, unless there's anything else, that's probably um, where we'll leave it for today. Answering some final questions for Ruth. Uh, the rune stones, I don't believe, are taken from another mod. They're just they sometimes. They are a re resource. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, like we answered, Rostrians are like Nords in terms of magic. They don't like magic, but they sometimes still use it. Is there any mare or more? Uh, probably not, considering they're like on the other side of Nern. Will the boats bob up and down the surface? Uh, in the no. Surf? No, because I don't think Skyrim Tension could handle that. Also, chat, stop offending Fauldron. How far are we away from release? Uh, close enough that we can have redacted. a development playthrough of it. Yeah, redacted. We can have a development playthrough of it. <laughs> We're getting there, but don't expect it anytime soon. <laughs> oh, with that note, he has to help with the chores. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we're hoping to plan to do a few more of these as we get other cities under development. So, and um, there won't be one for a while, but probably in um, six months or so, we're, we'd like to do another one. Um, so you can keep updated with our progress so hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was a bit different to um cyrodiil and i'm gonna get a new microphone for next time <laughs> so yeah uh thank you very much everyone for coming along uh and we will see you kind of next time we do a stream um so yeah thank you and goodbye <laughs>